Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's that time of year again. I'm super excited because FabFitFun add-ons and customization just opened up. So I want to share with you guys what's in my cart for my add-ons, give you my thoughts about the sale, and also little tidbits about some of the products that I know and love. So if you want to check out all the items in my cart right now for add-ons, definitely keep on watching. For those of you who might be new here, thanks so much for checking this out. I am a full-time working mom, but in my spare time I like doing a lot of things and I love making videos on fashion, beauty, mommy lifestyle, in addition to my reselling journey as well. So if that kind of thing sounds at all interesting to you, definitely check out my other videos linked down below and please consider hitting that subscribe button, it'll also totally help me out. Okay, so today again, I want to take you through all of the add-ons that are currently in my cart for spring 2021 for FabFitFun. So just to get this out there off the bat, this video is not sponsored at all. FabFitFun has no idea who I am besides the fact that I have been an annual subscriber for quite some time now. These items are not sent to me, so hopefully in that way I can give you my really unbiased opinions on all of these items. If you're new to FabFitFun and want to check all this stuff out for yourself and you want to consider subscribing, check out my link down below for FabFitFun and you will save $10 off of your first box as well. So first off, I want to just quickly get some basics out of the way in case you've never heard of FabFitFun before. And these days, I think it's hard not to hear about FabFitFun, but if you haven't, FabFitFun is a subscription service where you get mailed seasonally a huge box of full-size products that you can try out every single season. They also have special promotions as well where you can do things like add-ons like I'm talking about in this video, where you're able to select extra items that can be shipped along with your box. And these items are offered to you at heavily discounted prices. You also have things such as customization, which I'll briefly mention as well, where that is currently open now for annual subscribers, and you're able to pick out several items that you know are going to be in your box. So that way you can kind of customize the box to the items that you really want as well, which is really, really nice. Throughout the year, they also have other sales and promotions, such as the edit sale, other kinds of sales on their website, I think at all times. So it's just a really fun way to try out new products at really great discounted prices. This by far is my most favorite subscription service and I've been a member for quite some time now and I really look forward to getting these boxes every season. It really gets you excited for the season ahead. So they have two different types of memberships. The first is the annual membership. So you're able to pay a set price per year and you get somewhat of a discount as well. Otherwise, you can also be a seasonal member where I believe you are billed every single season when your box ships. So either way um, is a good way to go. You do save a little bit of money as an annual subscriber and you get some extra perks such as earlier dates for add-ons and customization. So if you're an annual member like I am, customization and add-ons are currently open. So definitely head over to the website and check that out if you haven't done so already. And this closes on February 8th. For those of you who are seasonal members, add-ons open a little bit later on February 18th, customization opens on February 19th, and both of these close on February 22nd. I will link all of these dates down in the description box below in case you want to reference them. Okay, so let's just jump on into this. As I do for every season, I love getting onto the add-on page pretty much when it opens. This year, unfortunately, I was at work at the time. So it was a little more challenging to do that, but I made it happen. <laughs> so I'm happy to report that at least this year, unlike many, many other years, the FabFitFun add-on sale for me went pretty smoothly. Typically when I log in, I log in again right when it opens at 9 a.m. Pacific time. And I believe the website probably just gets overloaded such that the items don't load. You're not able to put things in your cart well. And it's just super frustrating such that I often have to just leave the site and come back later. And by the time when you come back later, most of the good stuff is already sold out. So this time I was super excited because I was able to get on there um, close to when it opens and actually get the items that I wanted. So I'm really excited to share with you what's in my cart. As usual, this is just what's in my cart now. Over the next couple days before the add-on sale closes, I probably will go and weed through different things and take some stuff out, but also put other new things in too. But this is at least what's in my cart right now and things I have my eye on and things you might want to check out as well. Most of these items are still available too, so you can probably put them in your cart now as we speak. So probably my most favorite thing to pick up in these sales are skincare items. I think FabFitFun offers really great skincare items, really great brands, and at great prices as well. So I really enjoy picking up new skincare. Right now I have quite a bit of skincare I'm trying to work through, so I'm not going to be adding a whole lot of skincare this time into my add-ons, but there are a lot of great favorites that they were offering again this season. So the first thing I have in my cart, which I may try to restock, is this Elemis Peptide 4 Night Recovery Cream Oil. 
And I first tried this out in an actual FabFitFun subscription box a couple of seasons ago, and I really, really enjoyed it. I've worked through the entire thing, which is pretty rare for me, so it's gone now, but I really enjoyed it. It is a creamy oil. I think that's a great description of the consistency, and I used it before bed every evening. I just liked how it went on. It's hard to tell if it really did well for my skin. I just really have a hard time telling if skincare works for me, but I really enjoyed um, the texture, consistency, and I felt it really did hydrate my skin. So this one I potentially will try to restock, I think, in the sale. Another thing to think about, which I don't have in my cart currently because I still have on my vanity, is the Kate Somerville line. So I do like Kate Somerville products, and currently I'm using her Wrinkle Warrior Gel Moisturizer, and I picked this up on my last add-on sale, and I've been really enjoying it. I think that it's a really nice kind of gel type of cream consistency as well, and it does moisturize my skin very well. Again, I use it before bed, so I really do enjoy her products. I did see that exact moisturizer currently available in the add-ons this season as well. And I also did see a lot of other products in the Kate Somerville line, which I definitely think is worthwhile checking out as well. So the next item I added to my cart for skincare was this product from Kula. It's the Kula Sun Silk Cream. I believe it's a mineral sunscreen with a creamy consistency. So as I've talked about so many times on this channel, I'm a huge fan of sunscreen. It's so important to apply sunscreen every single day, even when it's not sunny outside. So I love finding new sunscreen type of products, and Kula is one of my most favorite lines of sunscreen products. So I'm excited to try out this new formulation. I haven't tried it before, so I really, really am going to check this out. There's no question I'm definitely going to be keeping this in my cart. They also have a lot of other great sunscreen products available too as we're heading into warmer months, so I would definitely check those out. I tried the Ren one before and some other lines as well that they're offering currently at pretty good deals too. So other items that I wanted to check out, again, always include lip products like usual, and I have this added to my cart. I probably will keep it in there. I should probably take it out, but um, I just really love this formulation. So it's the Kopari Hydrating Coconut Lip Glossy in Birthday Suit. So I do like these Kapari lip glossies a lot. I think this is a great value for this. And I really like this color birthday suit. It says it's kind of a new type of pinky tone, and that's really up my alley. So these days when we're wearing masks all the time, obviously I'm really rarely putting on lipstick because I just can't stand how it gets my mask dirty. Plus no one's really seeing my lips anyway, so what's the point, right? So I'm really looking for these kind of nice glosses that just provide a lot of moisturization and don't have a lot of color to them. So I'm really excited to try this one out. I've tried the formulation, which I like. I just haven't tried this particular colorway, I don't think. So that's probably going to stay in my cart. The next makeup item is this Laura Geller Kajal Longwear Eyeliner. So the Laura Geller line I think is most well known for her baked products I would say and such as the bronze and brighten blush and brighten and those are also I believe offered in the add-on sale if you want to check them out. I've tried them as well and I do like those. Um, she's also known for her highlighters um, which are also called favorites I would say. I haven't tried her eyeliners yet though I don't think and I did hear about this Kajal line. It's very dark black eyeliner I believe and I wear eyeliner every single day essentially so I wanted to try this formulation I thought it was a good value too so I am going to be checking this one out and that I believe does it for all of my makeup and skincare this time and then moving on to some other fun products so this time I found a lot of fun kind of houseware jewelry accessory type of items that I wanted to share with you guys some of this I'm definitely gonna to have to weed through but you know I think they're all kind of fun products to try so I think I'm going to move on next into the accessory type of items. And the first one in my cart here is from Kate Spade. It's a Kate Spade New York 3-pack Forest Feline No-Show Socks. So look at these patterns. They're super adorable, and that's really what caught my eye. I have a lot of socks like a lot of you, but it's always nice to refresh, especially with the new year, I think, your sock drawer. So I wanted to try these out. I just love the pattern. These no-show socks are my absolute favorite type of sock style to wear because I wear a lot of sneakers now when I go to work, so it's nice to have really the no-show style, and I really just love the print underneath. So I'm super excited about this. I'm definitely going to keep this one in my cart and excited to check this out. So the next item in my cart in accessories is this Bobble Bar Sprout Button Stud Earrings. So I love stud earrings. They're probably my most favorite style of earrings to wear, even though you wouldn't guess it today because I'm wearing these huge hoops. <laughs> but I think stud earrings are the most versatile type of earrings that I own because I can wear them to work as well. 
So I'm definitely not going to wear these kind of earrings to work, I can tell you that much. Um, but I do obviously wear stud earrings to work a lot. So if I can find stud earrings with bling that's still tasteful, you know, that's really right up my alley. So these earrings, I thought kind of fit that category. They are studs, so they're really close to the ear, which is nice. But they also have a lot of bling and all the flair. And personally, I don't think it's too much to wear something like this to work. And I think you can really dress it down. So I am probably going to check these out. I am worried about how heavy they might be, though, because my ear definitely has pulled after all the years of wearing hoop earrings and heavy earrings so that's the only thing I'm a little nervous about them is that they look a little bit heavy but I may try to check them out I do like bobble bar out a lot of things from the bobble bar line and I think they have pretty good quality stuff and then another accessory that I wanted to pick up, which I think counts as an accessory, is this make a mirror. So, I mean, look at this. Super adorable. It's the Alice and Olivia LED compact mirror. So, obviously, I was drawn to this by just how cute it is. And I would have so much fun pulling this out of my purse. And I believe it's a light-up mirror. It comes with a battery. And I really like these make a mirrors. It's so much better than using the little make a mirror that you get in your compacts because they get all dirty all the time. It's nice to have a good quality mirror to kind of touch up during the day. I also wear contacts, so sometimes I have to change out my contacts. So I'm thinking about this. I'm just saying thinking about it because, I mean, it's $39. Do I really need a $39 mirror? You know, probably not, right? So I don't know. We'll see if I decide to splurge on this or not. But I think it's super adorable. Um, and I really, really love kind of pulling this out of my purse. And the next uh, accessory is this. It's from Invisibobble. It's the dual pack uh, San Tropez and Pinkerbell style. So it comes with um, two little pack ups of these Invisibobbles. And I essentially order Invisibobbles every single time in the add on sale from FabFitFun. I always talk about them. That's really the only kind of hair tie I use these days, I would say. I just really enjoy wearing them. I think they're fun. They have little fun colors and prints as well. And I think the values on FabFitFun for add-ons for these Invisibobbles are quite good. So I just added one set um, to my cart this time just because I have so many of them already. But that's always going into my cart to refresh. And then the final accessory item is this bundle. So this is something else that falls in the category of something I absolutely do not need, but something that I really, really want. Um, it's this Refresh Your Spring Wardrobe Bundle. So it comes with three items, I believe. So it comes with this super cool, round, kind of 70s vibe sunglasses, which really caught my eye. And it comes with this basic canvas tote that you can use for different types of things like groceries, farmers markets, you know, I think that would be perfect for. And then it also comes with a little card wallet, as you can see here. So I honestly do not need any of these three items. I have all of these types of items already. But you know, sometimes it's fun just to get new things, like they say to refresh your wardrobe, right? So I don't know if I want to keep this in my cart, but I probably will. I just It's going to be hard to take it out, I think. I think it's just super adorable. I really love those sunglasses in particular. I don't really have a style like that, so I just kind of want to check it out to add a little bit of fun into my wardrobe. All right, so the next set of items, I would say, is this packing pods. And it's from my Tagalongs. It's a black and rose gold. So I love the colorway. The black and rose gold are my favorites, of course. And I first was introduced to packing cubes, actually through Fat Fit Fun, um, probably about a year ago, where one of the items were these packing cubes. The packing cubes that were offered initially from Fat Fit Fun in the actual seasonal box were some of a different brand. It was called Cow Packs, I believe. And it was the sorbet type of color that I picked out, which is the yellow and pink color. And I actually started using that. So although we haven't been traveling much, obviously, in the pandemic, we do a couple of road trips. So I started using the packing cubes and I actually really like them. I hadn't used packing cubes before. I thought it was just an unnecessary type of item when you're traveling, but they actually are quite helpful. They keep your items together. So I keep my lingerie in one. I keep my kids' socks in one, for instance, and then they're all just in the nice little pack up. So you don't have to go digging through the suitcase for your particular items. So it keeps everything super neat and organized. Um, so I really love them. However, the Cowpacks version that they offer before, the one that FYI is currently available available in the customization options for this season, um, just so you know, didn't hold up very well. In fact, the first time I used it, there was a hole already in it. So that was super disappointing, not great quality, I'll say. So if you have your eye on those that are currently listed as an option in customization from Calpax, um, I would maybe think twice about it. I just thought the quality just wasn't all that great, especially for a travel item. I mean, you obviously don't want it to break the first time you use it. 
and it's got to have to take some wear and tear if it's a travel item. So I wouldn't purchase that brand again. But this brand, I don't know, hopefully is more sturdy. It looks like it's pretty good quality. I like the colorways. I thought I'd give it a second chance with a new brand. So I am almost for sure going to check this out just because I really did like the convenience of using these packing cubes. So I'll let you know what I think about this uh, particular brand in future videos. And then the next houseware items I got were kind of for the kitchen. So the first is this really fun pair of bombshell silicone speedy clean dish cleaning gloves with bristles. So I think it's just a really nice set of gloves, silicone gloves, and they have these bristles on the hands and fingers to help clean things as well. I think I'm also obviously going to use a sponge or cleaning tools, but it's just kind of a nice, fun, pink set of gloves. And unfortunately these days I'm doing quite a bit of dishwashing just because our dishwashers are currently down and we're waiting for new ones to come in. So I'm using a lot of um, gloves to wash my dishes. So if I can find a really fun pair like this, eh, I'll probably check it out. So I think this is a fun one to try and I'll let you know what I think in future videos. The next houseware item is this set of double wall wine glasses. It's from Epair or Pari. And this just looks really fun. So like a lot of you, I think we're starting to drink a little bit more wine, not excessively, but a little bit more um, during the evenings, during the pandemic, as I think a lot of people are. And you know, it's just a fun double wall tumbler. And we often like to drink wine chilled. <laughs> so it's nice to have the double wall as well. So your glass doesn't, of course, have condensation. And I think it just looks super fun. So I figured for sure I want to try to check out this set. I think it's a really beautiful set of glassware. So we will see how it works out for us and then I have just one more item I believe and this one I'm not sure if I'll check out either but um, I kind of am curious to check out their clothing line so I believe they have a style option now through Fat Fit Fun where it's kind of like Stitch Fix I imagine where they can send you different items um, throughout the year for clothing so they offer a lot of these clothing items in the add-on sales nowadays so this is one of their clothing items I thought I might want to check out so my personal opinion I'm not that thrilled about their clothing options I'm not sure about the quality because I haven't checked them out but they do offer some brands that I've seen before and in general I mean I think they're nothing spectacular in terms of quality I'll to say and the price points really aren't all that great for clothing items as, as well I think a lot of clothing retailers have awesome sales these days so it's kind of hard to beat that so I haven't been all that excited about the clothing items but I did add this one um, hoodie to my cart just because I'm thinking about maybe just checking out just to see how the quality is and kind of how it looks so it's this really cute uh, Daniela hoodie, and I have my eye on this mauve color, which I think is just really pretty, um, kind of pink blushy tone. So this one, you know, it's just a basic hoodie, but it seems to be a waffle knit type of material, and that's one of my most favorite type of materials to wear. I just really love the waffle knits. So I need to check this out. I really love the color. I think it's really pretty going to spring as well. So I added this to my cart. I have to do some thinking about it before the sale closes, but that's something I definitely wanted to check out. Okay, so I think that does it for currently what's in my cart. No doubt this is going to change a little bit, so definitely make sure you're subscribed and check out my actual FabFitFun box unboxing video that's soon to come, because in that I will show you all the items that I actually did pick up in add-ons. I will also share with you all the items that I had to customize, and I'll tell you a little bit about how I made those decisions as well. So definitely make sure you check out that video. Otherwise, let me know down below what fun add-on items you think I should check out this season, especially before it closes for me. I want to consider adding on some extra new items. So I'd love your thoughts and opinions on all that stuff. Otherwise, I hope you're staying safe and healthy with your family, and I'll see you again in my next video. Take care. Bye.